Hey guys, hey guys, hi girls, ladies, gentlemen. Hey, I'm back again. Want to shoot you guys another quick video. It's your girl, she nurses. I nurse, that's what I do. But I'm going to bring y'all that tea too. And the tea could be from anywhere. Whatever gets my attention, I'm going to talk about it. From health to story time to celebrities, non-celebrities, whatever. I'm going to talk about it, okay? So here we go. This video, I want, um, in this video, I want to talk about hepatitis C because when I went to my doctor, um, when I got COVID, he was like, I'm also going to check you for hepatitis C. And I'm like, huh? He was like, well, some new medication that came out that can cure hepatitis C. So we're just, um, checking everybody for hepatitis. C. I said, Oh, okay. Sure. Do your thing. Anyway, my hepatitis C result was negative, and I'm glad to hear that, you know, because I don't know how I would have contracted it, but you just never know. But anyway, so I said, let me just do some research because, I mean, a lot of people may know about it, and some people may not. So here we go. And like any good teacher, I would be doing you a disservice if I don't break it down just in case someone out there listening to me may not know what hepatitis C is. It is a virus. And you can ingest it through contaminated food and water or through direct contact with the blood of an infected person. And there's more information on the screen for you, okay? Uh, common signs are depression and fatigue is what this website says, and I'll include my resources. Now, hepatitis C does break down further into um, 1A and 1B and so forth categories. And I did not know that until I started my research. So one, I guess 1A is the most common now and symptoms can be mild to severe. So you can be walking around with hepatitis C and not even know it. And um, chronic hepatitis C can lead to cirrhosis of the liver. And I know you all think about uh, alcoholics when you think about cirrhosis of the liver because it is more often seen in alcoholics. But it the cirrhosis of the liver can also, you know, believe it or not, be seen in people that um, have very, very unhealthy, fatty, sugary diets just constantly that can give them non-alcoholic cirrhosis of the liver. So watch out for that too, non-alcoholic cirrhosis of the liver. And I give you some um, symptoms you may feel if you have hepatitis C. And if you just want to go to your doctor and get tested for it and get more information about it, please do so. Because there is medication out there for this now, for hepatitis C. Now we're going to cover the medications. And just in case I didn't dis discuss this earlier, I just want to touch on the general types again. As far as the medication is concerned, I do believe the general types come into play, the 1A and the 1B type hepatitis C is their drug resistance potential. I think that plays a major factor in which one of the medications that you get to treat your hepatitis C. It will definitely be based on the genotypes, okay? The latest medications available for hepatitis C is Harvani, and the parentheses is the generic brands. They're all like um, combination medications, from what I'm looking at, there's a trademark name and then there's generic brand in parentheses is what it looks like to me. And I will not even attempt to pronounce these generic names or their other names. Um, Elysio uh, looks like that's just one medication. And then the next combination medication is, uh, if I had to pronounce this, uh, Vicara, Vicara pack. And as you can see, that's a combination of four medications. So definitely get your blood test drawn. And if you do have hepatitis C, talk to your doctor about these latest medications that are available and make sure they have your genotype as well. So you won't get a medication that it, you're already probably resistant to. So just talk to your doctor, educate yourself, be informed, and I will see y'all on the next video. Shout out to my notification gang. Love y'all. Bye.